is early afternoon. Late summer sunlight fills the street. The sound of bells. She waits outside the cafe tellier. She's been there since the bells in the slate spired church last rang. Dark hat, almost like a beret, pulled well over her eyes. The shadow of the awning of the cafe tellier falls at an acute angle. She waits with hands in pockets, head down, does not see the shadow, nor hear the laughter of the five girls walking arm in arm beneath the little railway bridge at the end of the street. Bells again. It is the cars hoop and the town closed for holiday. Still she waits, head down, unseeing. The laughing girls have long since gone. Baked mud and brick walls reflect the heat. The gravel in the forecourt in front of the cafe tellier stirs beneath her foot. The shadow of the awning has moved imperceptibly. The crossing bell and the heavy breath of an approaching train. The foot turned out towards us and taps unconsciously on the gravel to its brain. Catching her breath slightly from the uphill walk, too hot in the thick coat with the fur collar. Her tight shoes resent the cobblestones. She walks into the Place du Calvaire and then waits in the middle of the little street behind the monument. A child watches, incurious from outside the garden gate. Blue school smock on despite the feast day. In the background, a tall fir tree overgrown with ivy. The ochre walls of wood-framed barns. The shadow of the cross falls on the brick wall behind it. The arms, a shallow angle to the single band of yellow brick. Its two metal supports are shadowed like a color. She stands as before, head down, no longer hearing or counting the bells. No traffic turns the steep corner by the cross. Hands still in pockets, she stares at the base of the sun brick wall. She does not see, nor think of the frozen bronze agony whose harsh shadow shifts yet again as we watch. Lengthening shadows in a red-tiled kitchen await her return. Le Quinze Oud, feast of the Assumption. The festive tables are ready. Soon, she will walk out of the Place du Calvaire in the dark forest along the valley, a white chateau dreams. She walks away from us down the Rue de Belgique. The shadow outside the Café Tellier has lengthened almost to vertical. Round the corner, by the epicerie, trots a white horse, bridled, but not, sh not saddled led by a fat, unsmiling workman. Cigarette, bloated rabbi. The man who rides the horse's back is made of flowers. <laughs>